name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome all subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Today is International Panda Day. Did you know that pandas don't hibernate because they can't stop eating? For more, ask me for an amazing animal fact. Um, Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include American actress Alexandra Daddario, English Association football player Ivan Tony, Australian mixed martial artist Titu Vasa, Cameroonian basketball player Joel Embiid, and Indian film director and writer Siddharth Anand. Right guys, so I'm here at my flat. Um, it's Thursday morning. Um, I'm just a 54 year old female. Um, obviously that's middle age, you know, so I've been a child, I've been a teenager, I've had my youth, I've had my children, and now I just want to have a relaxing middle age, getting into an elderly person. But it's not possible. It's just not possible. My mum has rung this morning. I haven't answered the phone. I've had a barrage of messages. I'm expecting a Tesco home delivery, a home shopping delivery. I've been bombarded with filthy messages, absolute disgusting filthy messages. I have a dog in the flat, he, he can defend me, he can defend himself and a shopping delivery guy is there to deliver your groceries. We all know there's a pervert out there that used to send me six page sexual stories in the mail and by email and they, didn't, they weren't sending them to my mother Jennifer, they were sending them to me just before a gasp. Uh, engineer would arrive or the telephone engineer so I'm just expecting some Tesco shopping and that's all that happens he, I, he brings the shopping to the doorstep I put it in bags I bring it in end of we're dealing with a sexual deviant a pervert that's been doing this since I left my ex-husband in 2008 thinking I was a bit of free game and a toy to play with well, it's wrong. I'm not a free game and toy. And my worry is if I'm forced back into work, forced against my will, and they've all got notes as to when I've been for employment interviews that, that I've said that I've been sexually molested, sexually abused by my father. I don't feel safe in a work environment because of what happened to me in Go Train which was a government-run scheme, if you like, to get people to go to work, to learn computer courses, where I was sexually violated in the kitchen of Go Train, which is a government-run employment to get people back to work. It's run by the government. Alexa, what is Go Train? From gotransit.com. Alexa. Oh. What is the training go train? Here's what I found. Anyway, the go train was based in Sun Pier. Sun Pier in Chatham. I lived in Chatham for nine or ten years. Living with my parents to start with, then moving to a flat and accommodation where I lived by myself. And... Um, I, I had a battle with the job centre, I had a battle, they kept f trying to force me to go on these things that I disagreed with and I would go into the job centre and the job centre staff would be eating donuts, donuts in front of me, I'd be starving, I'd be hungry, I wouldn't be able to afford travel to government run schemes. Um, I was getting thin, I was getting stressed, I was losing my hair because I was being forced into employment. But it wasn't proper employment. There was men touching me in these employment schemes, feeling my legs, 
uh, they were kissing me and staff were turning a blind eye to it. I was a vulnerable woman who'd been sexually abused by my dad and I'd been attacked and assaulted and I didn't feel safe in these government run places. And I hope they're not trying to do it again because I'm not going to tolerate it this time. I've got a big mouth and I'm not going to tolerate being touched and sexually abused in employment situations. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. I was sexually assaulted in Go Train in the kitchen by an older man. And every time I went to the job centre in Chatham, women walking in with half their clothes on, going to sit with a, with a supposedly job centre male staff with a tattoo of a nurse on his arm with her tits hanging out. I mean, I, I don't want to get treated like that. And I won't. I, I'm on depression medication. I'm going through the change. I am not being forced into situations where men touch me. Do you understand? Because they're all hell will break loose. It will. It will break loose. Because I, I was sat there and I took it. Because I was told to go by the job centre to go train. I wrote to David Cameron. David Cameron's secretary ran, uh, wrote back to me, said that the job centre had made a mistake and shouldn't be forcing me into work. I got paid compensation and they left me alone. And if they start it again, I'll go through it all again. Do you understand me? I, you wouldn't send an old lady back to work. So what they were in fact doing, these men, were pretending I was Jenny, Jennifer, because Jennifer has a mental health illness, and sexually abusing me and getting away with it. And an old lady doesn't go to work, does she? Does she? My mum's 77 in May. That's what they've been doing. And the police. Jenny's got a mental health illness. So lock, lock me in a cell, they did, for 18 hours, the Kent police. 18 hours. They didn't even know what I was locked in a cell for. They, they abused me, they ate in front of me, they laughed, they took the piss and they didn't give me a mental health worker to help me. If I was mental, why didn't they get someone to help me? Just staring at me in there, perverts, watching a lady go to the toilet, a woman. Torture and abuse and it's going to stop. You're not doing it to me anymore. I won't tolerate it. I just won't tolerate it. And if I get forced back to work and any bloke touches me, I'll scream. I'll scream and I'll make a noise. I ain't going to sit there and take it like I did in 2015, 16 and 17. And eating in front of me. When I haven't got enough money to get a bus to go to work. Fuck you! The next video will be me doing a puz puzzle word and getting on with the rest of my day. I'm expecting a Tesco delivery. And he's going to deliver the food. And that's all. See you later.